now if i just click it i should be able to log in boom right so that's how easy it is like you just implemented authentication in your app hey there i'm Soumya. welcome to this video so recently i've been working on an app slash side project if you will and i'm using the nexus framework to build this app so totally new to it learning a lot and with that i'm using auth0 for implementing the authentication feature because first thing is that if you have ever implemented authentication you know how messy it can be and even after that it, there might be some vulnerability but implementing authentication with a service like Auth0 it's really really simple first of all with their SDK which is what this video is about and it just saves a lot of time and you can directly just start working on your app so in this video i'll just show you how i implemented authentication really really fast with Auth0 and Next.js okay so let's get into it Great, so first you have to go to the auth0.com. Uh, I'll be linking all the sites in the basically, this is the only site. So go to auth0.com and just sign up if you don't have an account or or if you have an account just log in so after you log in you'll have access to your dashboard where you can control everything right um so first what you will do is that first you have to create an application because obviously you're building an application so first you have to create an application uh let's just say it's my app then it will show you the type of the application because this this makes easier for the auth0 to get integrated so we'll be using next.js so that is a single page web application as you can see here like react and stuff so we will use that so single page application now you have the app and you, here we have some client id and there are many stuff we will use so let's not worry about that and just go to settings now um so now you have to just scroll down if you have any logo for your app you can down you can paste it here the link uh, so that when it shows the shows the authentication form instead of this logo you will have the your app's logo now after you come here just paste this thing in the allowed callback urls i'll be giving this all in the description now in the allowed logout urls just paste this right and so these are the things you need to paste and that's it just save it till for now uh, save changes cool changes have been saved go to the editor where we're gonna code so i'm gonna use vs code and here let's just get our next.js app okay so to create a next.js app you have to just write npx create next app and the name of your app let's say my app right and it will just do that okay so now that as you can see the it's success it's been set up so let's just go into our app that is cd my app and there you go and if you just now do npm run dev your app should work but we'll not do that because we have to install another thing too so that is the next chase auth0 sdk which is the developer kit which actually which actually makes this integration of authentication with with nextjs oh integration of authentication that was cool so that just gives you out of the box the hooks or the react hooks that you can use to just get your user and whatnot that just helps you to implement the authentication really really fast and we will see that so let's just install that and to do that you have to just do npm install uh, this uh, right and i'll be just um giving it probably all in the description what you need to do okay so while that install i'll just go to my app and just make a environment file where you uh, you know just store your keys and stuff right so n.local okay so now here you have to add some uh, credentials that will tell the uh, that will tell auth0 that yes you are the user that is using the service and you are the authorized user to make this uh, requests right so i'll be giving this in the description and let me just tell you what these things and, and how you can get this so this is the template you have to fill according to what you have in your settings so you know you just have to go to this application and under the settings you'll find these three things just and that is all you need to fill in here so let's just fill that so the issuer base url is this thing the domain copy that and just paste it in here just let the http you don't cut the https right um so the client id and the client secret you can copy it from here the client id is this one just copy that paste that here and the client secret is this one copy that paste it in here 
um so the auth base url auth zero base url will be remaining this one so let it be there now after you deploy um the whatever uh, the domain you have for example i'll have for example i if i have learning.tech so instead of uh, localhost you have to do your learning.tech right so that's what you have to just do here uh, but as you are developing now just let the base url be localhost 3000 right now to get the auth zero secret secret what you have to do is that just go to your command prompt or let me just try here because this is also command prompt right so just just paste this thing and run it right so you'll get this uh, string copy that right um i'll be giving this a uh, command in the description so, so that you don't have to search and stuff so just copy this thing this will be generated and just paste it in here right great so now that so this is all you need to do in the dot and dot your environment uh, file so just save that now as we have installed so as you can see now the auth uh, the sdk is installed so now we have everything done let's just run our app right so npm run dev right so this is what you have to actually do to run your next js app just press enter now if you go to your browser and just do localhost 3000 you'll see that you'll have the default nextjs uh, thing that it provides so you'll see that you'll get this default nextjs template that it provides okay so now there's just a little step remaining let's just so go to your pages and then go to the app.js uh, now you have to import your user provider from the sdk that we installed right so what this user provider is um is is that it is a component uh, which wraps around your whole app it has a react context or you know state management kind of thing built inside which actually wraps around your app and you know provides the authentication service to all the app for example if you don't want the authentication to be in some uh, page of your app you can just not wrap it inside the user provider but as we want our whole app to be you know want authentication we will be wrapping the my app which is basically from where everything will be every page is getting rendered uh, with our user provider component so to do that you will just you know just wrap this component with user provider and uh, that's that's uh, basically it cool so yeah that's basically it now you have access to whatever this component provides inside your app right okay so now that this is done you just have a little simple thing left to do so just go into your pages then go into api make a new folder call it auth and inside that auth, fo auth folder make another file uh, name it like this this is a dynamic route so this is named like this just square bracket triple dots then auth zero dot js great now inside it just import something called handle auth right handle auth and then export that thing okay export this export default handle auth beautiful right so that's done now now at this point you have set up the authentication technically now you just have to use it index.js so this is the uh, file which is actually rendering this page right so this is the files so to just make it look really simple i'll just um remove these things just keep this div and okay so that's done now if i just save it and it should all go away great and now you have to just import this use user hook which actually the SDK provides us and this is all you need to do anything you want with the user um, to authenticate so you will just import this and this is a hook this provides us many things and you'll see what it does so now from this use user you want basically the user we want to know the state of the user is the user there or not is the user loading or is there some error that's all we need to know basically right so we will just do that assign it to use we'll get that from this thing and 
okay great okay so now let's just use it so if we have a user so if you have a user who you want to show what the log out button right because it he does not need to log in anymore so we'll show the log out button um, i'm making it link you can make it a button right so else if he is not there if the user this user is false what do you need to show we need to show a log in button right so instead of log out i'll just say log in right now if i just save it and we go here you'll see that this obviously does not work because you have not given it where to go right so whenever you are using log in what you have to just do is that your link will be api slash auth like the folder structure we made right so this goes into api the this folder this then goes into auth this folder and then this is a dynamic route right so this will take whatever it you give it so here i will give it log in and i'll just copy that and exactly like that while i'm logging out i'll give instead of login this is a dynamic route right so i'll give it log out right so now if I just save it and go here, you'll see that here we have a link. Now, if I just click it, I should be able to log in. Boom, right? So that's how easy it is. Like you just implemented authentication in your app. Let's just show you that this thing actually works. So before I show you that, let's just implement something. So if you have the user, for example, now, for example, you have the user, you also want his name or email or whatever, right? So let's just get get his name. So to get the user's things, you need to use this user, right? So as we are using here, is the user there or not? So when we have a user, we will have his name too, right? So if I just give here, if I just say user dot, it will show me some things that the user could have. So let's just say name. And it is showing me this because you don't have a single wrapping element because you're returning this so yeah cool so now it will also show if you have a user it will show also his name right so if i just save it uh, let's just continue with google so if you're wondering how this happened you can go to your application you can tap connections i guess and here you will see that google oath is actually default connection default social worth so you don't have to add it so now if i just go through this uh, i'll be now automatically redirected to my app and it will just ask do i need to authorize the app yes i will authorize um so here you can see i uh, actually i have added a logo here so um so there we go we have our user here right we also have log out and you can just style it and there you have it your authentication that fast now imagine i just want to log out of my apps and now boom we have log in right so basically authentication is set up you can basically now focus on your project now if you're wondering well how do i use uh, is loading right so for example when you use it is that for example you can wrap this thing and say that um you can do do something like okay let's just do another div okay i'll put this user things in here and great so now I will say that I will just wrap it in another curly bracket. I'm just making it messy to show how all this loading thing works actually. So I'll just again another put another condition is if it's loading, if it's loading, right? If it's loading, then just show um, loading else show this division right so now what will happen just let me save it boom okay so now what will happen is that if it's loading so i'm getting this i'm not implementing any state or whatsoever right i'm just getting this ready made from this use user hook so so if it's loading if the authentication is in process i will show loading if it's not else i will show this thing right so if I just save it, go here and I'll just tap log in. Um, there you go. Tap this now. 
now watch this now see loading right so just show lo loading so now what you can actually optimize here is that when you make your app instead of showing loading you will show a spinner so that will make your app look great right so if i just tap log out and boom so yeah i just used it recently loved it i just wanted to share it with you it's totally free up to some users uh so on your side projects it's totally valid to use because it's clean and clean and you saw how fast you can implement it and if you were watching till now do drop a comment that will be really great and if you love the video or learn something from the video smash that subscribe button that means a lot like this video if you really loved it share it in your socials tag me up on twitter i'll see you in the next one till then have a great day and keep building